The demand for change when it comes to America's gun violence brought Hollywood to our nation's capital today. Actor Matthew McConaughey addressed the American people and our lawmakers emotionally asking for change as his hometown of Uvalde continues reeling from the tragic mass shooting death of 19 children and two adults. ABC's Rachel Scott is in Washington for us. Tonight, an impassioned plea from the White House briefing room. I will like to bring up Matthew. From Academy Award-winning actor and Uvalde native, Matthew McConaughey. Uvalde, Texas is where I was born. I swear my, my mom taught kindergarten less than a mile from Robb Elementary. Uvalde is where I learned to master a, a, a daisy BB gun. Uvalde is where I learned responsible gun ownership. The actor now calling for concrete steps. We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle. These are reasonable, practical, tactical regulations. His family traveled to Uvalde days after the school shooting. Today, one by one, he honored the 21 lives lost too soon. Now, Alethea, her dream was to go to art school in Paris and one day share her art with the world. He met with the family of teacher Irma Garcia. Her husband Joe died of a heart attack just days after Irma was killed. Their family saying he died of a broken heart. Then there was a fairy tale love story of a teacher named Irma and her husband Joe. Together they were the glue of the family. Both worked overtime to support their four kids. The money she had made two summers ago paid to, paid to paint the front of the house. The money she made last summer paid to paint the sides of the house. This summer's work was going to pay to paint the back of the house. Because Irma was one of the teachers who was gunned down in the classroom. They never got to paint the back of their house. And then there was this moment from McConaughey, who talked about the little girl, nine-year-old Maite Rodriguez and her trademark sneakers. The horror of that weapon leaving only the sneakers to help authorities identify her. These are the same green converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that shit? McConaughey, a proud gun owner, going door to door on Capitol Hill, lobbying for reform. Echoing the words earlier today from the families devastated by the massacre at the top supermarket in Buffalo. The suspect in that shooting, also an 18-year-old who bought an AR-style rifle after his 18th birthday. The son of 86-year-old Ruth Whitfield testifying before Congress. My mother's life mattered. And your actions here today will tell us how much it matters to you. We will see how Congress responds. Our thanks to Rachel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.